Hey DM, how do I make a rogue cleric wizard fighter thing? You want to do what? A rogue cleric wizard fighter? I don't think that's a thing. Or maybe it is, I don't know. But, look, I can help you with each of those and maybe your DM will let you turn it into one thing. Come with me, come on. It's time for Dungeons & Dragons Adventure Magazine, part 23. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you pick this issue up is it's got a whole new front cover, which I was really confused by and also very excited by. Thank you very much. Second thing you'll notice once you open it up is it's full of all of those character creation tools, what we just said we could do. Mm -hmm. You want to know how to make rogues up to third level? Oh yeah, we can do that. You want to do wizards up to third level? We can do that too. You want to do clerics up to third level? We can do that too. Or fighters to third level as well. Yeah, we got that. So yeah, if you want to do that weird mashup multi-class thing, I guess you could try. We're also going to learn about monsters in this case. Shape changes. Yeah, they could be anything, literally anything, so don't panic too much. We're also going to learn about a new faction, which you may remember from the D&D movie, called the Harpers. As always, there's an encounter in the back of the issue. This time it's called Fool's Gold, which feels less terrifying than the last issue. So, some light relief. It looks good fun, though. Oh, <gasps> Doppelmaurus! We also have a new monster. The Doppelganger, who you will, if you listen to the podcast, you will recognise. Check it out, Royal Britannia. And you may notice that this issue is quite chunky. It's quite thick. And that's because at the back of the issue, there are many new character sheets for all the main characters we've been playing so far, all now levelled up with all their new abilities. So you can continue playing as you were. It's all very exciting. But there's some extra things with this issue as well. Ah, oh, look, there it is. There's one of them. It's a spell book. Now, I know what you're thinking. Spell books, you think, big tome like this. Oh, bang. But these are pocket size and they're very handy. It's a spell booklet, if you will. Oh, it says booklet. Level two, second level spells. And you can pick through without having to scroll through many, many pages of book. You can just go straight to level two ones. It's all here. And an issue of Dungeons and Dragons Adventure Magazine would not be complete without... and not a single one fell off the table. A massive thank you to Hache Partworks for sending this issue of Dungeons & Dragons Adventure Magazine. I'm going to find it very useful for my character creation, and I'm sure you will too. Check it out.